Hi, it's Casey with Blue Marble Consulting here, and today we're going to briefly cover SAP project line item and invoice to PDF. So we'll be covering uh, just looking at our project line items in CJI 3. We'll be exporting that to an XLS. We'll show a PDF invoice, and then we will post a uh, JV posting via template. With that, let's jump into the demo. So here we go. We, we have our CJI 3 screen up here. This is just a project line item screen. You can see I've got a project lined up. If you jump into it and execute the project, we can see our line items that are posted for our project. One simple thing to do is to export to a spreadsheet. You can choose your XLS to spread to or to uh, uh, dump to. And with that, you'll get something like this. So very easy, easy to uh, see reports that uh, you don't have to do much to to uh, manipulate them to look good. Another great thing with CJI3 is the ability to filter by what you want to see. So here we could filter by year, posting dates, different periods. We can have multiple projects. We can go by cost element or cost element groups. Um, we also do have an option to go up to a thing called uh, dynamic selections. This will allow us to bring in other fields that we don't specifically see on this parameter screen. Also, we have the ability to go in, if we were looking at an invoice for a customer, we can simply export these invoices to and turn them into something like this, a PDF format that you might want to ship to a customer. Lastly, for this video, what we've got here is we're just going to look at that uh, CGI theme. We're going to look at some real-time posting. So this is just a quick JV. Um, if we wanted to load it from a template, we can save our templates in our tree. So if I have one that I wanted to look at. So what we've got here is I've got a template that was just built. Maybe it's a recurring posting. Um, we can see that our posting date comes in for our day that we're doing. And we've just got a document date. We might plug in a reference. And you can see our posting is checked out here. We've got green. We can go ahead and save that posting. We'll get a document number down here in the corner. And then what we can go do is we can run back and we can run our project line item report and we can see that that posting just took place. So what we just did here is we ran through uh, CGI3. We dumped our CGI3 report into an XLS. Uh, we showed you how you could filter to run your report. We showed an invoice to PDF and we posted a journal voucher via a template. If you have any information you'd like from Blue Marble Consulting or our SAP Consulting Abilities, please contact us via the data on the screen. Thank you.